Hello everyone, hello and welcome. I'm Jason McRae and this is the Solus Project. What is Solus Project, you ask? It's a game, it's a survival game, it's a sci-fi survival game. And by survival, it's quite a serious survival. And exploration, of course. So uh, the game is pretty much about us being stranded on a planet and we are trying to contact our fleet or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, I've been following this game for quite a while and now it has been just just now released as a early access. So here I am going to play a little bit and probably just, yeah, play a lot of it. <laughs> play a little bit and a lot of it at the same time. So anyway, let's go, let's jump in, let's hit a new game. And I'm going to override this because I was just testing if everything works perfectly and it does. So let's get in. Yes. Fifteen years later, mission TSP-3 arrives at Glees 6143C. That's us. That's my ship. Well, not mine, but our. I'm here with my fellow friends. Uh, reaching this planet, which looks kinda weird, but cool at the same time. Yeah. So why the hell not, right? Oh! Uh... What's that green blob on the bottom in the middle? I have a bad feeling. Yeah... Time to evac. Oh! Okay, so that's the story. That wasn't really success. Vata, Yuri, can you hear me? Where is everyone? Did anyone make it to the drop parts? Heyman, Lars, is anyone there? Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I guess these are the pieces of my ship. Oh, yeah. Oh. Fell down. Broke my helmet. It still looks like I have a helmet. Okay. So yeah, as you can see on the top, not representative of final experience. So keep in mind, it's an early access game, so what you see here, it might not be true uh, in the later versions or even in the final version. So this is an early access game and it's going to be released in uh, parts. 
So this is part one, uh, more multiple parts are coming out over the time. Next one is going out, I think it's uh, in early March. So I will hopefully be able to uh, keep up with the content on this game because yeah, it's freaking awesome. So what I'm going to do is play, of course. So we can choose a difficulty, easy, normal or hard. I like to go normal with a little bit of tiny tweaks on my own. So let's just do the normal. Hard is too much hard. Uh, difficulty and other settings can be changed at any time during the game. So if it will be too easy, we can change it right away. Uh, Fahrenheit, uh, feet miles, US fluid owns. Nope. So we don't need this and invert look, I don't think we will need that. All right. So what I want, what I like to change before we'll start is, as you can see, you can see uh, we have a little uh, just question mark over the item we can use. So what I decided to do is go to settings, uh, game, and disable these two visual helpers and objective markers. It will make it a little bit more realistic. So let's take this stuff. Okay, so it's interfacing with me, which is, well, I don't know, but all right, so trying to contact a relay satellite, but it's out of range. So yeah, we are in here, we are landed, crash landed, and we need to survive. Um, if you will look down, you can see uh, the Wilson the tool, so you can see a lot of things. So you can see health, uh, the temp body temperature, calories, hydration, sleep, and then the outside environment, which is the temperature from outside, humidity, and uh, wind strength. So as you can see, we need to eat, we need to drink, we need to sleep, we need to stay uh, warm. Uh, if we will go into water, we will get wet, we will be freezing because the water is really cold. Uh, and we will suffer hypothermia and all sort of stuff, so it's going to be fun. Yay! So yeah, we can have hypothermia, we can have heat stroke, starvation, dehydration, and uh, trees can fall on top of our heads because of uh, weather effects and all sort of stuff. So yeah, it's fun. So let's continue. Cable can be cut, requires tool. We need a tool to cut the wire. So what can I do? I see two rocks. Items have two states, pick up item and craft combine with another item. So what I can do is pick up this item and combine it with this one, which will make me a sharp rock. I'm going to throw away this uh, sorry, this one, because it's, you can only hold 12 items in the inventory, so just keep in mind. And is there anything else? I don't think there is. So we can now, with a sharp rock, we can cut the wire. And we can take it with us, because why not? Uh, P, stats, B, sleep, objectives, O. So, and yeah. You can see health, body temperature, calories, water, until sleep. So it's uh, in, I need to go to sleep in 15 hours, basically. World temperature, humidity, and wind. Awesome. P, you can see it like this in big. So everything really interesting and important there. Pro's fleet time is 0, 18, 20. Second, uh, 19th of... Uh, February 2183. By the way, this is a real time, which is something I really like about it. So anyway, let's go. Well, I mean, not the year, but at least something from it. So let's continue. Oh, water bottle. Food can. Well, yeah, we have a note. If you find yourself in a precarious situation, explore your surroundings and scavenge whatever useful items you can find before conditions worsen. As soon as you can, secure a source of heat, fresh water and food. So these are the three 
important things you will need to have on your own pretty much every time. How you deal with the first few hours is crucial for survival. And given, given that our inventory is limited, yeah. So let's go around, let's collect bottles and food, canis, uh, food cans. Because as I said, they are quite important. And yeah, we crash landed on some sort of alien planet. Which, well, I have no idea where it is, how we will get back, how we will get home, or anything like that. Let's also be careful to not break our knees. I have no idea if I, if I can do anything in here. I guess I can't. I'm just losing fucking loads of calories in here. Oh, okay. Alright. I'm fine with that. Wow, just look at this. Ah, <laughs> oh, good. I'm here, I can see a little bit better. So yeah, there is some sort of windmill over there. Just pieces of our ship. I have no idea if there is anything useful. I really don't want to, yeah. I don't want to go th uh, to into the water because, as I said, if you will get wet, you can get hypothermic, which is bad for your health. So we might return there if we will be well, where when we will have some sort of better, maybe dress or something like that. We'll see. So I am getting stuck. All right. So it doesn't look like there is anything else in here. So let's see. Um, objective, ob objective, objective is none currently. So we are just exploring. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to take these cans of food. It's all up in flames. Yeah, a little bit. I need to. Last long enough to report something back to Prolos Command. Better have a look around and see if anything or anyone survived. Well, let's hope they did, because being alone, it's really bad. Be careful not to get lost mark locations you have been to, avoid getting trapped due to nightfall, rising tide, storms, losing your light source, and so on. There is no map, so something to keep in mind. Oh, another food can. Cool. Can't see shit in here. So, probably there is nothing. <laughs> okay. Once you are in control of your environment, find a way to communicate with the outside world, gather parts and build an impromptu transmitter. Never give up hope that you will be rescued, no matter how dire your situation is. Okay. So we are finding what, what uh, find a place to take a shelter, okay. Another water bottle? Yes, please. Is there anything else? No. Nitrogen, probably nitrogen, I guess. Oh, we have a VHS, holy crap, year almost 2200 and we have VA, VHS. Okay, I'm almost full in my inventory, but I have lots of food, which is awesome. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, drink from a freshwater source. Which is coming to place in here, so we can drink. We fill us a little bit, or we can use a water from the bottle to drink, and of course we can fill it back up. All right, what's next? Scavenge some food. Well, I already scavenged a little bit of food, but. Because of the tutorial, it wants me to go out and find some, so let's go and find some food. 
Uh, by the way, if you will keep uh, these two enabled, I'm going just to show you what it will do. Uh, did I save it? Yeah, good. So, first, it will show you the forward vector, and second, it will show you all the pickables on the ground. So that's the reason why I don't really like it. I want the exp it's an exploration game, so I like it turned off. But we can enable it anytime we want. So right now I'm just going to follow my little beep thing. And there we go. A plant. Which we can eat. Really, I can eat this. Yeah, I'm not getting poisoned, I just ate a little bit. <clears throat> Locate a pipe to use as a torch. Oops, sorry. Come on. So pipe I saw over here, yes. Alright, what next? Is locate something burnable to cut down. So let's go again towards the beep point. Which is in the cave. Oh, and dry roots, okay, so let's cut it and let's use the uh, pipe on it to make a <clears throat> torch. Awesome. So what's next? Locate something burnable to cut down steel. Okay, let's cut this down then. I'll locate oil and apply it to the torch. Ooh. And... Okay, I was just thinking about taking it with me to make a fire at some point, but... It's, there's no need. Still, good, still doing great. So we need to find oil. Okay. Probably it will be somewhere near uh, the just the crash site, so let's just go around. I know inventory is full. I'm getting... Uh, okay! Oh, there we go. I guess I can't take the oil. Yep, applicable, infinite burning and rare. So let's soak it in. And now we need to light it up. And how best to light it up then with the burning engine from the spaceship. There we go. <coughs> and it will burn for infinite time, so that's cool. Okay, uh, something's going on. It started to rain like hell for no apparent reason, so I'm... I am without the luck to fi on finding the... Uh, well... What should we call it? Uh, the artifact. So, uh, what climate anomaly detected? What the hell? Oh crap. 